A very warm welcome to this evening. It's the 13th of our Come Together session in time of Corona by Culture, and I'm very happy that you are all here. My name is Carmen. I think most of you know me. I'm the coordinator of the Danube Networkers Network, who started this kind of Come Together on Sunday evening to bring together people from the Danube countries and from other countries. And so a very well, welcome to all of you. Today we have a big program, uh, you have seen perhaps. We will have some, as every time, music and songs contribution, but above all we will see the results of uh, the competitions of the My Cultural Treasure, and we will speak about the Corona collection. So, I'm very glad that you are with us and that we co can join all these results uh, which have been so great. But before starting, I would like to ask you to present yourself shortly with your name and where you are coming from, that we know a little bit each other. We can't uh, speak with each other in this session, but we can take profit of to know each other and perhaps to make other meetings in smaller groups and to share common interests. Very glad to see you today and we will start with the musical contribution from Yulia Tataru from Moldova. She prepared a song for us. I hope I pronounce it right. Kanta Kuku, the Kuku Sings is the translation and she would like to say a couple of words about the song before she starts. Yulia, the floor is yours. Um, I will sing a song for you today, a uh, folk uh, Romanian song about Bukovina. Uh, the freedom desire of Romanian people was reflected in a lot of traditional songs. This is how the song Cânta Gokul Batalvina was born. Written in 1904 by Konstantin Mandichevsky, a teacher from Suchapa, with the occasion of commemoration of 400 years since the death of Stefan the Great. So I hope you enjoy it, and I am sure you all uh, know it. Cânta cu cuel bate vina, de răsunam bucovina. Da, cânta cu cuel bate vina, de răsunam bucovina. Cânta cu cuel Thank 
Thank you. Bravo, Julia. Bravo, bravo. Thank you. Thank you, Julia. You have a very, very beautiful voice. It was a beautiful song. So I will maybe read aloud uh, two verses of the song in English. Uh, Bukovina, realm of flowers, where have your songs gone? Bukovina, realm of flowers, where have your songs gone? They were taken to another land, but they'll come back when spring begins. And then their time comes to return, you will be the one that they still love. As you see, it's a beautiful song. Uh, so this is um, actually the moment you all have been waiting for uh, our winners of the Coronet competition. Uh, we did it as well last time, but you, due to some technical problems, we couldn't show it on the screen. And right now we will do it. Um, I don't know how we should do it. Should we also leave a little bit of time for translation for the most important things, Carmen? Yes, for the most important, yes. I think, but I think they will see also because you prepared okay. well. Okay, so uh, I will ask um, Leonard right now to show the presentation and I will be presenting together with Oliveira. Dosic Rakic, a member of Eloit who, uh, who took a very active role in the, uh, in the project and in the contribution. Just um, very fast, some facts and figures. You see the numbers on the screen, 135 contributions from 12 European countries. You see the countries on the screen. Uh, you will be also be able to see this presentation on the website or on the video and read a little bit more in detail. Uh, we had 10 categories of the intangible cultural heritage, such as dance, singing, festivities, customs, etc. We have uh, 37 photos we selected from 73 for the photo exhibition that took place in Ulm in Haus de Begegno. 21 texts and 21 videos reached us and we were a nine-member jury. The members of the Danube Swenia Museum, um, senior experts, a teacher of art and design and members of the Eloy team. Please next slide. Uh, so, as you already know, we have changed the, the categories. We had different things in mind, but we made this change due to the large number of received contributions, first of all. Also, many of your contributions contained text, photo and video at the same time, and many participants presented their contributions acting as a group. And we couldn't just give it to, to three people or four people. We wanted, we received such good quality contributions. So we just decided to be flexible and organize different categories. So the categories are group prizes, four group prizes that we awarded, single prizes, for the most impressive individual contributions, 15 prizes uh, we awarded. Um, then the prizes for contribution to the intergenerational dialogue. It's the most impressive entries of the youngest participants, two of them, and special come together awards. These are awards for most active presentation of cultural contributions during the come together session. Um, maybe you can translate uh, the, the reasons why we changed and then the categories. I will ask Sefta to translate very, very shortly. Okay, uh, сега, uh, това, което каза Виктория, е, че uh, първоначалните категории са били сменени, защото много хора uh, са подали uh, творби, които са съдържали не само текст, но и фотографии, и видео, и затова са променили категориите, като групови награди, индивидуални награди, награди за принос за диалог между а, поколенията и специални награди, които са свързани с участието в а, неделните сесии Come Together. Thank you. Anna Tslibut, please, Romanian. Competiția Coranec și-au schimbat categoriile de premiu datorită faptului că au primit mai multe, un număr foarte mare de contribuții. De asemenea, deoarece 
ce multe dintre contribuțiile trimise au fost sub forma tuturor celor trei forme, text, fotografie și video, și datorită faptului că mulți participanți și-au prezentat contribuțiile sub forma unui grup participând în echipă. Thanks a lot, Anna. Please proceed to the next slide. So, and I will ask to announce the winners of the group prizes. I will ask Olivera to announce them. Shall I announce them in Bulgarian? Uh, I, I will ask Oliver to announce in English first. Okay. I'm very glad and happy to say that we have a um, day center for the elderly Resnitsi, number one, from Cluj Lapoca, from Romania, from Ro Ro Romania, uh, as one of the winners uh, with the photo, video, and text popular dance from Transylvanian districts and Asuat. I would say Purtata din Peleac, De Lingual and Barbuncul. <laughs> that is one um, contribution. And another one, Tassel West from the Bistritza Naswad area. Uh, it is very important to say that uh, a lot of members of uh, elderly, uh, Center for the Elderly uh, participated in this contribution and the, the contribution is presented by director of the center, Mihaela Markovici, and we are very grateful to all of you. Thank you very much. Please, Serda or Anna. Uh, I don't think there is need because the winners will see their names. Yeah, okay. And we will need a long time, yes, if then, we translate yes, every slide. Yes, then um, I'm very happy to say that uh, one, one very special uh, video and contributions from contribution from Serbia. Uh, from Stara Planina or mm -hmm. from Belgrade uh, um, is honored. Uh, bread baking pens from Stara Planina, that is Old Mountain in translation in Serbia, was presented by Biljana Djordjevic and Slavko Spasic. Uh, we uh, saw both of them and we will see uh, in the next uh, few minutes uh, this video and the short presentation from uh, uh, Biljana Djordjevic. Also, Klubul Foto um, from Galati, from Romania. Uh, they are also winners uh, for the photo and texts. Text, um, the art of suing Ie, Consonie Bunici, Santinelle, and traditional Easter bread, Hora, etc. Um, we were very happy to see that uh, a lot of members of the Club Photo from Galati uh, done an myriad uh, contributions and presented us an myriad of con costumes uh, from Romania. And uh, special thanks go to Roxana Bazzano, coordinator, and of course to other members of the club. And uh, one more um, winner uh, in this uh, group prizes section uh, is uh, Folklore Festival, New Drakia and Sauerkraut soup from the old days, Slivo uh, Pole, that is in Bulgari, uh, video in text with the same name as the name of the festival is presented by Pepa Stojanova and Ljuboslav Jordano. And uh, I hope we will also have opportunity to see this uh, short video in a few minutes. And we wanted to emphasize uh, once again the teamwork, uh, the commitment to the transformation of the, or, or the transition of, of the tradition uh, to, um, uh, to further and uh, the joy that we uh, saw in all of these contributions uh, that member take with them in making these contributions. And thank you all. Thank you, Olivera. Leonard, you can go to the next slide. And I will just state that all of the winners of the groups, the groups will get 100 euro prize and we will, um, we will contact them very soon. Please, next slide. Um, next slide, please. Okay, Leonard. 
Are you there? <laughs> uh, no, it is too... Okay, now next. Thank you. So uh, now I will announce the winners of the individual prizes. There are 15 individual prizes awarded 50 euros. Um, I will not be able to say a lot about each uh, because we're short on time, but I will try to announce everyone. So we uh, 50 euros um, for the individual prize is awarded to a very beautiful text and video on Sophie Scholl, A Life of Freedom and Justice, to Isolde Gatti from Ulm, Germany. It was a creative text about a very important topic uh, about the Hans and Sophie Scholl for Ulm. Those are very important persons because they fought actively against oppression uh, and they were being involved in the resistance against the Nazi regime. Uh, it was a very emotional, creative text, so thank you, Isolde Gatti, if you're there. Uh, the next one is the text and pictures on the Glagolitic script uh, from Emilia Velikova and Sefta Cvitanova from Ruse, Bulgaria. Um, this um, very beautiful text and pictures underline the importance of the community and um, also underline the they were aiming to popularize this um, Glagolitic script among uh, Danube neighbors that are not using it. Uh, then we had a contribution that is also awarded uh, its text and pictures, Leaving Socks from Romiana Gibova uh, from village of Panichan, Bulgaria. As well, a very interesting and uh, humorous text on Rakia Brandy from Dujan Pavkovic from Belgrade, Serbia. Um, the text about the traditional uh, pastoral game Shore from Dragana Bogorivic from Vojvodina, village of to, uh, Tomasevic, Serbia. Um, this is also a very interesting game um, that you can also see on our website. So if you're interested in some of the contributions, just go to Koda Neck website and you will be able to read the award-winning text. Please, next one. Um, so, uh, as well, text and pictures from Horst Buchmann, Carnival in Rottweil. Uh, Horst is here today and I'm very pleased that um, this uh, beautiful text and pictures were awarded the prize. Um, as well, a photo of horse chewing of a chicken egg, Dario Pulic from Bosnia and Herzegovina, who was present at social evening and also said a couple of words about his interesting contribution. Um, then a contribution of Nadezhda Hrabkova from Liptov, Lubela, Slovakia, linen canvas from grandma that is telling her family story. Nadezhda, um, I don't know if she's here. Uh, I am um, very pleased to announce this, that the, the text and photo won a prize. Then Karolina Yats, um, video and photo popular and ethnic songs of singer uh, Bogdana Herman from Slovenia. Um, also a very beautiful picture that you will see later in our um, video of our exhibition. The next one is the video and photo of a uh, blue dye craft of the Danube Swabians from Fla uh, Franz Flock from Ulm in Germany. He also made a, a very interesting presentation of this tradition in one of our Come Together sessions. Please, next one. Um, so uh, the next one is, uh, co next contribution that is awarded a prize is from Ljubljana, Slovenia, from Pavla Raposha uh, Tancek, the dual, the cultural heritage of Slovenian language. As well, uh, Maria Berova was awarded the prize uh, from Slovakia, the video for national dresses from Redova. Um, then the Laszlo Gartoni family from Hungary were awarded a prize for Raka sheep, an endangered farm animal with important news for us and for the next generation. That's how the contribution is called. Uh, and we have also very, received a very emotional song, the Tare from Nicoleta Doaga uh, from Chisinau, Moldova, um, about um, her beautiful native language that is disappearing. And uh, a beautiful creative text 
on writing postcards. It was written with humor. And I congratulate Margot Eisele from Ulm, Germany for the prize. Please, next slide. Uh, I will ask Oliveira to present the next category. Uh, thank you, Victoria. So, uh, we all said it, already said um, uh, during our um, social evening last time that uh, it's very important uh, for us and in general to have a young people among us. And I'm very glad to say that um, Sara and Jana Pavlovic of Zranjenin and also Maria Djuric of Lukicevo that is also in Vojvodina, Serbian, um, contributed to the Kodanek project and uh, uh, won a prize. So um, we have a possibility to hear Maria Juric and her beautiful voice with, uh, about uh, a love for the country and the love as such. And now I would ask Sara and Diana Pavlovic to say us something about um, traditional Sunday lunch in Vojvodina. Uh, they, um, what is interesting about this very creative and very uh, talent, uh, very good uh, writing text, is that um, they uh, um, write together in uh, fear, in fear hands. So I would ask um, uh, Sara and Diana to, to address us, to say us uh, what does Sunday lunch in Vojvodinian way means for, for them. Uh, hi, uh, my sister and I often uh, drove together and we also study together. Uh, so we came to an idea to write a text for the competition together. Uh, we thought that we could be more successful um, by writing the text together uh, than doing it personally. Uh, we thought that each of us could uh, add something uh, more creative, uh, more interesting and original, so we write the text together. Okay. Uh, the idea of writing about traditional Sunday lunch happened because it's very familiar to us. The whole family loves it because we are all together. We spend time together uh, and the Sunday lunch is always very good. Uh, we often go to the village uh, near Zrenjanitu. Its name is Klek. Uh, our parents and uh, live uh, there and... Um, were born and grow up there, uh, so we often have Sunday lunch together with our parents and grandparents. Uh, it's traditional uh, Sunday lunch for us too. It's interesting that Klek was a German village uh, in the past time, so we adopted many customs from German kitchen and German people, uh, and we even keep them nowadays. Thank you very much. That is very important and very interesting. And uh, once more, uh, let's emphasize that Vojvodina is one uh, really multi-ethical area and it, is, uh, it was and it is still today. Thank you very much. Thank you. So can we proceed? Yes. Uh, so, um, these come together sessions uh, are a part of Kodanek project and we decided uh, to honor our winners uh, with this special uh, prize for engagement in come together sessions. Uh, three winners, uh, th 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 these are uh, Lucia Elena Popa of Stemishara. Uh, with the beautiful song Middle of, of Clovers. Then Anna Guyar, uh, uh, also from Temishwara, uh, and uh, also a uh, very beautiful um, song Romanian Christmas carols. Also, a union of pensioners of Slivopole municipality and International Day of Forest Presentation. Uh, is uh, 
a winner of, of this category of our prizes. And big congratulations to all of them. Thanks a lot, Oliveira. Uh, you can turn off the presentation, Leonard. Thanks to you as well for sharing it. Um, I will also like to state, um, if it wasn't clear enough from the presentation, I'm sorry, there are two group prizes that go to Cluj, not only one, because there were also two contributions. Uh, this is the first point. And the second point, I would just really like to thank all of you for so many beautiful contributions and also the most active people as, for example, Emilia Velikova from University of Ruse, Anna Tslibut, who coordinated um, the, the contribution for the Writers' League and Intimus Vara. I would also like to thank all of um, my colleagues, because uh, we also think we should also say about our team for long hours that we spent looking at contributions. Um, the Carmen Stadelhofer, Olivera Stosic-Rakic, Carmen Rohien, and um, also Leonard and Simon. Thanks, thanks a lot for, for your work. And also, uh, I would like to say a big thank you to Nadia Hrabkova uh, in Slovakia, to the colleagues in Agora, in Sofia, to, uh, to Jana Findeisen in Slovenia, and also to all of you who um, try to, um, you know, to spread the, the information about our competition to all of the countries. Thanks, thanks a lot. Um, so um, I think we will go on with the next, um, with our next uh, video, the contribution. It, it, it is, will be about our exhibition our Koranek exhibition video that we made for you because due to Corona, it was not possible, sadly, that you could have a look at it in person as we planned. So Oliveira will show you the video and explain um, about the contributions. Please, uh, Sefta, can you translate this short part? Тъй като заради корона няма как да видите всичките творби, фотографии и снимки, които бяха изпратени, сме подготвили изложба, виртуална изложба, която ще ви покажем сега. Окей, that's the essence. Thank you. Anna? Да, да е датарит пандемия и да е коронавирус, но са пътува да ведя експозиция персонал на УРМ, аша ка вам ведя част експозиция на мод виртуал. Thanks a lot, Anna. Oliveira, the floor is yours. I would say that uh, House of Encounter or House der Begegnung in Ulm is one very important institution uh, that gather a lot of people and uh, a lot of activities devoted to the culture, but especially to uh, different social um, activities. And um, the House of Begegnung is, uh, is always full of people, but now at the moment there were no a lot of them because of the corona. In spite of that fact, we have uh, good news that, um, uh, so to say, a lot of people could see uh, uh, this exhibition and we are uh, very happy about that. And uh, can we see the video, Leo? So you can see that uh, exhibition uh, was uh, uh, arranged in, uh, for three weeks and here is the entrance uh, to the club uh, and uh, the room where the pictures are arranged. And uh, of course we did these details that <laughs> remind us of Corona's um, period. So this is the beginning of the exhibition with, with the Danube area. You can see all of our countries there and the Danube uh, itself. And uh, this is announcement uh, for the competition. And we are going to the first 
photograph done by um, <clears throat> the contribution is done by Dayan Zagoratz, and uh, that is flat broth bread, very delicious flat bread, and uh, mm, uh, bread baking pans, Biljana Djordjevic, then um, Laszlo Jordani family, and uh, Rachka Shi, then Nicoletta. Gergana with the decoration of the bo box with Romanian, typical Romanian motifs. Very interesting picture. Then we are going further to the section devoted uh, to the Danube actually. And here we, we, we see um, a lost cultural treasure, uh, the Danube. So that, that, that is a picture, oil and canvas, by Helena Gaspar Ludikova, uh, because this part of the Danube is, uh, is um, different today. This is a uh, festivity in Ulm, very famous, very dear, called Nabada, and Jutta Gotthard is the, the author, um, Horst Buchmann, uh, with this uh, very interesting uh, festivity and then um, glagolitic script for, of um, Zevda Cvetanova and Emily, Emilia Velikova. Uh, they discover us to say um, this glagolitic script to a wider European public. So this is a, a Kurban uh, ceremony uh, done um, uh, for the purpose of uni uh, union of different religions, religion, and here are uh, icons of uh, Minya Poljak, uh, 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 Belgrade. Uh, that is traditional technique, but uh, in very modern appearance. Here we say we see uh, once more Emilia Velikova um, uh, contributions. Uh, that is uh, Easter custom. And here we are by uh, Franz Bloch, um, dyeing a blue Schwabian um, um, color. That is one special skills that Schwabian, uh, Schwabian done in Vojvodina, but also here in uh, Germany and in Slovakia because uh, this another uh, picture is from Slovakia with the same technique of uh, mm, coloring. Uh, this is bretzel, famous uh, Bayerish uh, food, um, and it is done by um, family Balo aus Ulm. Thank you for that. Here we say uh, another one. Um, custom devoted to food culture that is famous Serbian rakia or schnapps or brandy, uh, which is done by Dusan Paučković. Uh, this is something that is very common uh, for more than one countries. That is a custom Martenica. That is not only one uh, uh, name. As there is a, a lot of name because Moldavian, Bulgarian, and uh, Romanian people uh, celebrate or practice this custom uh, similar with with uh, with some specificity. Um, uh, this is Dreznice festival. Uh, Maria uh, Adanya aus Dreznice presented some very interesting carnival that united also a numerous cultures uh, around the, the world, as well as this one, uh, Rottweiler Festival, uh, done by Horst Buchmann uh, uh, once again. And uh, the, the, that, that is, uh, uh, m those are masks um, aus uh, Romanian. Uh, I think VE is the name, uh, is the name of those masks. This is Ljubo uh, aus Koshir, uh, Ljubo Babic aus Koshir, and uh, beans, which is a very important cultural tradition for Slovenia. Here we see Zorica Popov weaving 
and uh, Zorica Popov is very important to say, uh, make some very modern uh, pieces of clothes on a tra tradition, based on a traditional way. This is Nadezhda Kakova and um, her grandmother leaning. She, uh, uh, that leaning is old, uh, about 100 years. This is Dario Kulic of Bosnia and Herzegovina and horseshoeing egg. Very interesting custom of uh, Bosnia. Here, as we all said, her old, uh, already heard, Sara and Diana Pavlovich demonstrate one uh, typical traditional uh, Vojvodinian um, uh, lunch, which is uh, also typical for another another parts of Europe uh, along the Danube. Isolda Getty uh, with um, Oster Brumen, that is voluntary work, and we are impressed how they made this this uh, um, wall. Uh, this is Klubul um, aus Romania, Klubul photo, and uh, we are very glad that we have uh, such a beautiful contributions from Klubul photo. Uh, here we see uh, one, no, one more um, Easter custom, and here we mentioned the uh, uh, they uh, center for elderly people uh, aus and Mikhaila Markovici and the people from from this center here is um, Romiana Jipova with living socks very emotional text and emotional picture you can see it uh, here uh, Roxana um, with her uh, sotron uh, the kinder the child game. Uh, this is once more a uh, center for elderly from Brasnice, Klužna Poka and Mikhail Markovici with the, the, with the dance. Uh, Marius Miron aus Moldavia with, uh, with uh, Chila Baua dance. Very emotionally uh, expressed contribution as well as picture and at the end the text. Uh, Julia Strode with uh, Margarita Staraste book uh, uh, and traditional city song from Branje done by Radica Smiljković and Milan Mihailović. Here we see uh, Bogdana Herman who uh, were presented um, by Karolina Jarts. Uh, she is Slovenian ethno singer but also pop singer and she mix uh, a modern and uh, old tradition very successfully and you can hear uh, her contribution on on our website on the next website as well as all other contributions thank you very much thanks a lot olivera for presenting this beautiful exhibition as you can see we had many many pictures thanks again to all of you who contributed to the exhibition now, and I will... uh, 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 um, uh, excuse me now to say that we have a, a lot more uh, uh, pictures, but due to the pixels <laughs> that, that we miss, we couldn't uh, use it. Uh, and last time we, we, uh, uh, um, we say, uh, please, next time, um, choose a picture with very good quality. That yeah. would be uh, uh, ask from Eloy and the Danube Networks. Thank you very yeah. much. Thank you, Olivera. Seta, can you translate this about uh, what Olivera said about, about the pixels? Yes. Това, което каза Оливера е, че има още много фотографии, които обаче не са могли да изложат, защото качеството на снимките е било ниско. Uh, така че молбата на Илое, когато следващия път, в следващия период на, на проекта, uh, отново има покана за снимки и фотографии, тези снимки и фотографии трябва да бъдат с много висока разделителна способност, за да може от тях да се направят тези красиви фотографии, които виждате, защото в противен случай, ако пикселите са малко, те, тези снимки не могат да бъдат използвани. Thank you, Sefta. Anna, please. Anna, you're muted. Can you unmute? 
Yes. S-a specificat că s-au primit mult mai multe fotografii bune, fotografii, fotografii frumoase care ar fi trebuit să fie la expoziție, dar nu au putut fi puse datorită calității, respectiv datorită pixelului. Pi pixel, cât pixel au avut acele fotografii și așa încât pentru următoarele contribuții vor fi atenți la calitatea fotografiilor. Da. Uh, thank you, Anna. Thanks a lot. Uh, so, uh, we will move on to the next contribution. We have to look at the time. So, we will be able to see right now the award-winning uh, video Mood Rakia and uh, Sauerkraut Soup from the old days. It was the contribution created by Pepa Stojanova and Ljuboslav Jordano from Slivopole, Bulgaria, and uh, Emily Velikova from Russia will present it. Thank you, thank you. Dear colleagues, I will present uh, this uh, Uh, contribution from the name of Pepa Stoyanova. She is secretary of the community center in Babovo, village uh, in Rusi region, and Ljubuslav Jordanov, IT supervisor of the municipality of Slivopole. The, this is folklore festival, milk, uh, rakia, and sour, sour kraut soup from the olden days. At the beginning will be just presentation with some pictures and after that you will see a brief part of the video. So the festival is an annual festival in Babovo village in the region of Rusi. Slivopole municipality organized numerous public events aimed at uniting its residents coming from various ethnic groups. These events include joint celebrations, revival of old traditions, intergenerational learning, clean, cleaning of children's playgrounds, and many other activities. My presentation is in Bulgarian also, so it's not necessary translation in Bulgaria. A uh, unique event, uh, event organized by the municipality in the community center of the village Babovo is the annual folklore festival titled Melt uh, Rakia and Sour Crown Soup from the Olden Days. Rakia is uh, the Bulgarian hard liquor made from fruit like the Juman snap, Schnapps and uh, Sour Crown uh, Juice is uh, fermented cabbage juice, which is a, a must for all Bulgarian households in winter. This festival originates from the legend about a small roadside inn on the road from east to east, west, in which the female owner named Baba, it is grandmother, Kajika, served malt uh, or heated and spiced rakia and sauerkraut soup to the tired travelers. The festival gathers from more than 8,000 participants of all ages and from all regions of Bulgaria where they meet friends and take part in various activities such as uh, folklore performers of individuals or folk singer groups, folk dance groups, literary uh, recitals, traditional competitions of uh, best uh, mild uh, rakia, most delicious salt kraut soup, most authentic all the day spread, and most handsome, uh, han, uh, handsome young men. These are some pictures from different kinds of activities. For, for, for competitions for soup. This is competition for rakia. Everybody can taste uh, this, but uh, usually, but there is a jury who take decision about uh, the winners. 
this uh, in in 2020 uh, the title of this competition was uh, ista bread table from different participants different group participants these are unions of pensioners and their clubs All festival participants and uh, visitors can taste free melt uh, rakia and have uh, sauerkraut soup. Uh, it is an uh, excellent opportunity for uh, preservators uh, for preservation of the ethnic peace in the municipality and for making new friends. The municipality of Slivopole extends an invitation to the people of the Danube countries to visit the festival and get to know their Bulgarian neighbors. Thanks a lot, Emily. Oh, this is and we will see the video as well, right? Yes. This uh, is uh, Pepa Stoyanova, who is organ the main organizer of uh, organizer of this uh, activity, and uh, Lyubislav uh, Yordanov, who prepared the video. So, video, you will be uh, you, Vika, you will put the video, Leonard. Okay. Yes, I will put in the video. Yes, just a short um, part. Yes, 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 two minutes. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, Emily, for this contribution. And we will go on to the next one. It's also a award-winning video from Viljana Georgievic and Slavko Spasic from Serbia, bread baking pans from Stara Planina Mountain. Please, uh, yeah, short. Viljana, we started. Viljana, 
Yes, I'm here. Okay. Well. Short introduction. Yes. First of all, I would like to say that we are really honored, Slavko and me, and very happy that uh, we are awarded uh, this time in this uh, competition, uh, especially because it is, uh, I think, very important uh, part of our cultural heritage that is disappearing. So uh, I'll introduce to you shortly what I have done and then you will see the, the video that uh, Slavko is uh, author of. So you heard, uh, you heard the name of the, of the presentation. Next. And so next, pl uh, please. Uh, well, uh, the place of, uh, of our story is uh, taking place, place in village uh, Gostusha, uh, which is... Do it, please, Slavko. No, it's not my presentation. Oh, and it's not you. <laughs> okay. It's Leonard. 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 Yes. <laughs> okay, okay. You can see where the Gostusha is. And please, next. And uh, the village Gostusha is also, uh, uh, no, no, back, back, Leonard, I didn't finish, is uh, called uh, Stone uh, Village because of the roof to, uh, of, the, uh, of, the, of the houses. And if you are interested in the uh, why it is under protection, you can uh, find more information in the website that uh, you can see above. Next slide, please. Uh, this is area of many natural and cultural heritage, but uh, I choose this one, which is uh, very, very, uh, very uh, antique and very rare uh, way of uh, making pottery and uh, uh, using it. Uh, what is really important is that it is uh, uh, made only by women and uh, it's also very uh, traditional way it, and, it, and it was uh, uh, made once uh, in the past also in uh, Eastern uh, Europe and Bulgaria and mm. Romania, but as far as, as I know, uh, it uh, disappeared there. Uh, it's uh, very uh, unique because this is the only pottery that is not fired be before it's uh, first using. The way of making and the using you will see in the video, but I'll just uh, want to say that uh, the, they're really very old. The way of making it and using it's very old because the oldest uh, uh, bread baking pans we find in the Neolithic uh, archaeological sites, which means that they are old uh, about this way of uh, preparing bad, uh, bread and the possible way uh, of making the, 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 this pottery is about 7,000 years old. Uh, next, next, please. Well, uh, finally, uh, I want to thank my friends Vera Manic and Ljubina Nikolic from Gustusha, uh, who shared with me their knowledge and their skills. Next. next. My colleague Atze Georgievich from the National Museum in Belgrade who made all the photos and the video material. Next. And of course, Slavko Spasic who, who made uh, this uh, very good, very nice video of what we uh, uh, shoot there in the in Gostusha village. Thank you so for can... your attention. And now uh, we are we going to already. see the, the video. Thanks a lot. It was very, very interesting. Leonard, please play the video.
this was truly a beautiful video. Thank, thank you. you very thank much. you. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Thank I don't know about you. I haven't had dinner yet. It made me really hungry. <laughs> so, <laughs> thank it's you. Just bread. You. Just imagine something else, some kind of meat. It's just a bread. <laughs> Okay, thank, thanks a lot. Thanks, Very beautiful tradition. And congratulations again on the prize. Thank you very much. Thank you. We will go further um, with a song. Uh, Antonia Kalinescu is learning German at school and she prepared uh, um, a song in German. She's from Brasov, Romania. And the song is called Warum kleiden sich die Bäume wohl aus? That means why are trees undressing themselves? It's about autumn and uh, the, the singer is wondering why are they undressing themselves, it's cold. So please, Antonia, the floor is yours. Hello, I heiße Antonia, I bin 12 years old. Uh, I uh, come from Brasov, Romania. And I, uh, will ein Lied über Herbst singen. So Antonia is 12 years old, she's from Russia, from Romania, and she wants to sing a song about autumn. Ich kann anfangen? Ja. Warum kleiden die Bäume sich voll aus, wenn es kalt wird, wenn es Herbst ist? Warum kleiden die Bäume sich voll aus, wenn es kalt wird, wenn es Herbst ist? Vögel in den Süden ziehen, Igel in ihr Laubhaus fliehen, Hunde wachsen Winterfälle, Hamster roh an warmen Stelle, Nur alle Bäume land auf und land ab, Werfen jetzt im Herbst die Blätter ab. Warum kleiden die Bäume sich voll aus, Wenn es kalt wird, wenn es Herbst ist? Warum kleiden die Bäume sich voll aus, wenn es kalt wird, wenn es Herbst ist? Schaffen Kühe in Stelle stehen, niemand ist am Strand zu sehen. Menschen tragen warme Mützen, um vor Kälte sich zu schützen. Nur alle Bäume land auf und land ab, werfen jetzt im Herbst die Blätter ab. Warum kleiden die Bäume sich voll aus, wenn es kalt wird, wenn es Herbst ist? Warum kleiden die Bäume sich voll aus, wenn es kalt wird, wenn es Herbst ist? Stunden an den Fensterscheiben, letzte Müglein zu vertreiben, nur an Händen und am Opfern. Werden alle angetroffen, nur alle Bäume land auf und land ab, werfen jetzt im Herbst die Blätter ab. Warum kleiden die Bäume sich voll aus, wenn es kalt wird, wenn es Herbst ist? Warum kleiden die Bäume sich voll aus, wenn es kalt wird, wenn es Herbst ist? Unter Blätter nass von Regen, Krabbel sich nach außen zwingen, wohl im Frühling sich entfalten, nur so blieb der Baum halten, darum werfen Bäume Land auf und Land ab, jetzt, jetzt im Herbst ihr schönes Laubkleid ab. Bravo, 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 bravo. bravo. Vielen, vielen Dank. Bravo. Vielen Dank, Antonia. Du hast, Bravo, einen Antonia. Sehr schönen, hast du einen sehr schönen deutschen Akzent. Sehr schön, Akzent. sehr schön. <lacht> The Germans here schön. Uh, will, will, will confirm it. The, die Deutschen hier werden das bestätigen. Sehr, sehr schön gesungen. Very nice saying. Very Thank well. You. Thank you. Thanks a lot. So we, from this very nice German folk song, we will go on um, to our... Another project, um, Living in Times of Corona, the collection of texts and contributions to Corona time. This song was actually a, a very nice uh, 
it made a very nice connection to the topic because the autumn it feels lonely and yeah, in the long true. time as well people uh, face a lot of challenges and uh, we were if i'm honest we were struck by the contributions you made in such a short time we received many many drawings many many texts on very very different topics and uh, Carmen Stadlhofer, together with Olivera Stosic Rakic, will present uh, the state of the art. Dear Carmen Olivera, you can start. Yes, we will do. Thank you, Antonia. It was really a good link between your song and about we are speaking now. Because a lot of us, and it was proved by the text, have been shocked and then they had been at home and they didn't know what to do. And uh, it was a very difficult time for all. And in the text, uh, we heard that people try to overcome the situation in very different ways. Some of you wrote that they uh, started for voluntary work, others discovered nature or others tried to take profit of the digital uh, services and the possibilities of digitalization to be in contact with persons they know or they have never seen before. And so we had a lot of different sort of texts, but also of pictures and design. It, it was really, really great to see how uh, people express themselves and showed how they try to overcome and we have to say they tried and they try also in this time because it's not finished and corona uh, we are sorry to say it's widespreading once more and in some of your countries in these days it's some danger but we hope that this spirit of we will overcome together will give us the power to be serious, to be careful, to be responsible, and as we hope, healthy. Uh, Olivera and me look for types and for, um, uh, to say, uh, not winners, but for texts uh, which are especially impressive. We have to say that it's not so easy because we've got a lot, and we've got a lot of poems. And I have to thank a lot to Timmy Swara, to Anna Sliput, and also Writers League, because they really uh, sent a lot of text. But to translate in your language to English by Google, we are losing so a lot of sense. And now we really need more time to really appreciate and to translate well for to publishing. But uh, before starting um, to present some of these texts, a lot of thanks for, to all of you because really it was great to have you and also the designers and the photographs and so on. But a lot of thanks also to uh, Zefta and Emily from Ruse because they helped a lot to structure this uh, collection and also Timoslav from Wirtschaft, who inspired us to do it, uh, and uh, also to the Eloy team. It was much more work than we uh, expected because we got much more texts. But you will see, going on our website, all these texts, and you can take time and you can reflect how yourself improved and improved this time of Corona and what had been and is your reaction, your feelings, and your commitment with others. So uh, take profit of all this in our website, but let us give some insights now by Olivia. Olivia, go on. So I would like to say shortly about the main topics uh, that we have in uh, this Corona publication or, or the collection. So. Uh, some of them are general problems introduced by Imran Ismailova Sadulov from Russe. Then uh, reflection 
on overall situation done by Sevda Cvetanova from Rusia on Gaira Selena Popute. Then some of you discovered peace and nature. Um, that is, um, uh, for example, Christo Freitag. Then uh, we have text about inner development and religiousness that shows us uh, many articles from Denisoara and Ruse. And um, I would like um, to emphasize the poem by Sim uh, Simona Perian and a Florian Tene. Uh, that is only two, two, two contributions, but there are a lot of other precious contributions. Some of you mm, or some of authors discovered new hobbies or new jobs. Uh, for example, Adrian uh, Kranaganyu. Um, that is one interesting uh, uh, text uh, that we <clears throat> suggest for your learning, for your um, um, reading. And then another topic uh, was learning or, or further education. And uh, among those uh, texts are very interesting, the, the texts that we got from students. Uh, those are Sevdalina Georgieva, uh, Borisovo, and also uh, it is interesting to listen to the text of uh, Anna Guyar from Temisoara, uh, Peter Korteshi, Martin Christo, Maja Stojanova, that is uh, um, Peter Korteshi uh, from Hungary, uh, and Maja Stojanova from Russia, Bulgaria, so the different areas, all of them uh, speaking about this cover uh, of the dig digital world, uh, world, uh, world, how the digital world helped and uh, how they proceed to, to cope with, uh, with this problem with Corona. Opportunity for online communication with other people from other Danube countries, um, to the come, these come together sessions. This is also, we are glad that that was also uh, some of your topics. And uh, Christina Marinova from Russe show that, shows that to us. Volunteering is very, very important uh, topic. Rumiana Ratkova also, uh, from Bulgaria, Vesko Zunova, Elza Koch. Uh, from Deutschland, um, Darko Radak, Tomislav Milunov, Tatiana Petrika, and Vojislav Milunov, and many of them was, uh, were uh, in this group of voluntary uh, young people from Russia. We are very grateful for those texts, pictures, photos, and the whole work that they, they've done. Intergenerational gathering and uh, work in progress, that is the topic of Karolina Ivanova. Then Easter celebration, but with a quite big difference. Zaharia Perez uh, writes about how Romanian church helped the people. Get uh, and give encouragement. We have uh, also texts uh, for this topic by Andrea Stadelhofer, Kares. I was, uh, from Deutschland and Natasha Kashas uh, from Serbia. Um, it's, it was very interesting uh, to, to hear and to listen uh, the anecdotes and the humorful, humorous texts. Emilia Velikova gave us some very interesting anecdotes. Uh, and Živora Dushkov I was, uh, from Bulgaria and also Angelka Roksandic from Belgrade, Serbia. So uh, we have uh, some interesting um, digital or, or, or visual uh, contributions, online uh, roles competition uh, done uh, by Dimitrin Kagetova uh, that shows uh, also commitment to the uh, togetherness and together work of uh, one community from Bulgaria called the uh, Chitalište. 
And uh, we are very happy to say that uh, we have a lot of uh, photos from uh, school ch children, especially from uh, Ulm and uh, Gisling and small town near Ulm. And um, I would ask Leo now to, to show us this uh, presentation of uh, we chose six of them six uh, pictures to show how kids uh, feel and uh, what kind of remark they made um, about corona and uh, okay so anton hacker uh, I have I oh, oh, I have a problem with the with the. Uh, do you hear me well? Yes, yes, we yes, can, we can hear, hear you. you. Okay, so uh, the task uh, given by teacher was to to to, uh, to draw something uh, special that they had during the Corona, some nice things that they've done, some special occasions that. Uh, they had uh, and uh, Anton Hacker uh, give uh, this gave this uh, uh, drawing, and uh, we can see here a very mature line with uh, a lot of details for a kid of uh, this ten or, or eleven years uh, well, uh, old, and uh, um, with some kind of text that uh, uh, that. Uh, uh, say to us, I think that is that is my analysis that uh, we sh we have to be prepared of the of the things like Corona. It is can can we proceed, Leo? Here is Emma Rocher, and we found uh, that this is, this is very interesting because. Uh, um, these splitted uh, parts uh, express the the feelings and the, the separation during the corona but uh, at the same time uh, those uh, details uh, give us some joy so that is that's why uh, we choose to show you uh, this picture as well. Can we proceed? Uh, Ivona Sinkovic, uh, that uh, also um, fifth grade uh, uh, school uh, student, um, show her, shows her mother, grand, the grandmother, and uh, it's, it was very important uh, for, uh, for her, and that was uh, Ivona's um, happy um, thing that her mother is getting well and uh, we found it uh, that is very important to show to you to see how kids are thinking and uh, which kind of emotion they have. So uh, can we proceed please? Here uh, it, it is vivid that um, Isabel Boom um, uh, for her is very important this togetherness and uh, uh, in spite of being at home she found uh, really uh, different activities uh, also you can see for those who are not familiar with Moodle Moodle means the the internet uh, which helps uh, internet portal which helps uh, pupil uh, around the Europe to learn during the Corona and the Moodle become a kind of book actually and was it, that is something very dear for for uh, for students and for pupils and we are happy to see that uh, they uh, admire Moodle. Can we proceed? This is uh, um, so uh, uh, Joel Stepani. Um, so this um, bird-eyed perspective, found, we found that is very interesting. Also, uh, 
um, to say that uh, my super activity was uh, learning. That is something something very interesting because uh, uh, from my point of view, I would not expect from the children to, uh, to say in such a numerous uh, examples that they admire <laughs> and they, they have uh, um, good time spent with, with learning, with books and with, with Moodle <laughs> and with, with the digitalization, which is very, very interesting as well. And uh, once more, we have one more, yes. This is Tamara Rakic, she is a bit uh, um, younger and uh, she discovered the uh, abstract uh, art during Corona and uh, she said she was uh, confused at the beginning and then all of a sudden she discovered this abstract art and then she realized that uh, th th this is very um, in connection and uh, that some kind of, of um, expression of uh, um, the time of Corona. So um, we have prepared also uh, one text, one very short text. Uh, uh, yes, that is Karolina Ivanova and uh, she says, I think that all of us learn that the most important lessons in their life, we are only humans after all. We have to be careful, take care for our future and not forgot, forget that we are in the same team. We are only humans after all. So I would like to <laughs> say, uh, Mm, uh, that is the end for this part and to ask Carmen to address you. Thank you, Oliveira. Now we will come to an end, but you see it's not ending because there are so a lot of texts, so a lot of inspiring uh, ideas and activities and go to our website and have a look and uh, take your time and if you like, send your text to us. But now uh, we will make some summer time. We need it and you need it also. And we will meet us next time in the 7th of September. But before starting in holidays, we will hear a very nice drum song. It's uh, performed by Michael Karis, by Michael, as he announced, and it's a very famous German song from a famous uh, songwriter and you, he's not young now but when we had been young he was young he has uh, 70 verbs and it's Gute Nacht Freunde it's uh, good night friends and it's time to go and he's uh, expressing his feelings but it's sure we will see us again and so let us hear this song and uh, thinking that we will see us and hear us again the 6th of September and that we will cooperate in the future as we did in the last months. Thank you for giving your time for being guests, but especially thanks to all actors in the last 13 sessions it was so fun and so inspiring to be in contact with you. But now, Michael, good night, friends. Es ist Zeit für dich zu gehen. Gute Nacht, Freunde, es wird Zeit für mich zu gehen. Was ich noch zu sagen hätte, dauert eine Zigarette und dein letztes Glas im Stehen. Für den Tag, für die Nacht, unter eurem Dach, hab Dank für den Platz an eurem Tisch, 
Kaffee, das Glas, das ich trank. Für den Teller, den ihr mir zu den Neuen stellt, als sei es selbstverständlich ja nichts auf der Welt. Gute Nacht, Freunde, es wird Zeit für mich zu gehen. Was ich noch zu sagen hätte, dauert eine Zigarette und ein letztes Glas im Stehen. Hab Dank für die Zeit, die ich mit euch verplaudert habe und für eure Geduld, wenn es mehr als eine Meinung gab. Dafür, dass ihr nie fragt, wann ich komme oder gehe. Für die stets offene Tür, in der ich jetzt stehe. Gute Nacht, Freunde. Es wird Zeit für mich zu gehen. Was ich noch zu sagen hätte, dauert eine Zigarette. Dein letztes Glas entstehen. Für die Freiheit, die als steter Gast bei euch wohnt. Hab Dank, dass ihr nicht fragt, was es bringt, ob es lohnt. Vielleicht liegt es daran, dass man von draußen meint, dass in euren Fenstern das Licht wärmer scheint. Gute Nacht, Freunde. Es wird Zeit für mich zu gehen. Was ich noch zu sagen hätte, dauert eine Zigarette und ein letztes Glas im Stehen. Gute Nacht, Freunde, es wird Zeit für mich zu gehen. Was ich noch zu sagen hätte, dauert eine Zigarette und ein letztes Glas im Stehen. Bravo, Michael. Very nice. Thank you, thank you, Michael. It was a very, very beautiful song and a nice ending of our Come Together sessions for now. We will see each other, as Carmen already said, on the 6th of September on a Sunday. We already miss you, friends. We already miss you and we're looking forward to see you. If you have some nice contribution for the 6th of September, let us know before you go on holiday. <laughs> Thank you, friends. It was nice to be here with you. I congratulate all the winners again, and we will see you very soon. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you, Victoria and Carmen. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Have a nice Bye. summer. Nice Sunday evening. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good holiday. Bye. 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 Thank you. To you too. Great, have a great summer. Yes, you too. Have a nice vacation, everybody. Bye bye. Bye. And Seta, Anna, thanks bye -bye. a lot for translating today and always. You are welcome. <laughs> bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye.